How to get what we really want and live the lives we really want. We can start by choosing a strong attitude shift, embracing the idea of living in the end. We can use the amazing power of our inner mind to change our reality if we believe that our dreams have already come true. The basic principles of creating that help us get what we want and feel fulfilled in the present are explored in this book. You will learn useful skills from our lessons and tasks, like how to use imagery, affirmations, meditation, inspired action, and taking the feelings of what you want. Accepting the idea that we are living in the end can help us rise above the ego's constant chase of pleasure and connect with our greater creative awareness. By working on our present, faith, and inner awareness, we can watch as the outside world changes automatically to match our inner state. When we ask for something and think about already having it, the world happily sends it back to us. It's time to make your dreams come true. Accept the idea of living in the present moment with all your heart and watch as your life changes in amazing ways to make your deepest desires come true. Let's go ahead and start making your dream future come true. Lesson 1. Act as if. A very powerful way to bring our goals into our lives is to act as if they are already real. When we fully accept how we feel and take steps toward our goals, we let the world know that we are ready to receive them. Start by focusing on exactly what you want. Then, imagine that you already have it and let yourself feel happy, satisfied and excited. After that, Move on with your day by acting on how you felt at that time. Act, speak, and make decisions as if you already have what you want. For example, if you want to get your dream job, picture yourself already having it. Let the feelings take over your whole being. Imagine that you already have that job and think about it every day. Talk about it with passion, dress in a way that shows it off, and make decisions that match it. When we act like something is true, it makes our brains look for chances that are in line with what we want. The higher our energy frequency, attention and awareness, the easier it is to make our dreams come true. Accept the practice of acting as if with all your heart. As you hold on to your wish, imagine and trust that the world will change things to make it happen. Now that you have the energy, let it show up in the real world. The idea of staying until the end is very strong and has a lot of promise. Imagination is a key part of making our dreams come true. We can make huge changes in an instant by clearly picturing that our wants are already met. Imagine what would happen if it ended there. Use all of your senses. Look, touch, listen and enjoy. Make scenes in your mind that are intense and real. Tell them specific things and give them memorable memories. Give the whole experience your full attention. Really enjoy the feeling of happiness that comes from achieving your goals right now. For example, if you want to bring a new home into your life, just picture yourself walking through the perfect living area. Feel the roughness of the walls, breathe in the smell of new flowers, and listen to the birds singing outside. Feel all the good feelings, like pure happiness, inner peace and unbridled joy. Add colorful details to this made-up scene to make it come to life. How vivid our imaginations are has a big effect on our inner mind. It's interesting how our inner mind often makes fantasy and reality look like they are the same thing. It easily brings our imagined scenes to life by turning them into real things. A shift happens when you reach the imaginal state you want. There are different ways to look at the idea of time and understand it. The idea that time is a myth is challenged when you imagine something that already exists. Believe in the amazing things your mind can do. As you plant seeds in your imagination, remember to visit them every day. Watch as they change into real things. Many of us believe that making our dreams come true takes a long time, which can stop us from moving forward with our creation. A lot of people see time as a straight line and think that the future is where they'll find what they want in life. 
But quantum science shows that time is just a trick of the mind. In the current moment, everything that has happened, is happening, or will happen, happens at the same time. We are tuned into different levels of reality. You are about to step into a world that already exists spiritually. The only moment that really exists is the present one. Do not wait for your wish to come true in the future. Instead, focus on being in the present moment. Feel what it's like to have what you want right now by picturing the perfect world where you already have it. Make choices as if you already have it. By doing this, you break down the way you think about time by engaging your mind in the rhythm of your desire. The waiting time goes away. You vibrate with the vibration of already having it, so the universe quickly sets things in motion to make it happen. Find peace in the present moment as you see your dreams come true. Do not worry, it is now finished. All the things you want to make happen are happening right now in this moment of endless quantum existence. When you get past the illusion of time, it's easy to understand what it means. Right now, manifestation is taking place. David was able to act like he was going to get what he wants in this story. David was nervous and excited as he walked into the company hall for his job interview. Even though he had made a lot of progress in his work, he couldn't help but feel like a fake. Before the interview, David took some time to imagine getting the job offer. He even pretended to celebrate with his wife. David used the confidence he had built up to face the hiring boss with confidence. He thought about the place where he would be celebrating and pretended to be working there. The boss talked about how the company's work setting is always changing. David talked excitedly about how to do well in stressful scenarios. She asked him how he handles management. He talked about how important it is to work together, which is in line with the company's goals. David wasn't going to give up on getting the job. He came up with an interesting idea for a new project he could do in this job. The boss told him how much they liked his creative thought. After a few more questions, she got up and shook David's hand. I'll get straight to the point. You have the exact qualifications and a clear vision for this position. Congratulations and welcome aboard, the boss said. David smiled and enthusiastically said thank you. He was happy and proud as he raised his fist in the lobby. The scene that was imagined was now real. He set his thoughts, actions and energy in a way that made his wish come true by acting like he already had the job. He went outside, ready to celebrate just the way he had planned. Lesson 2. Quantum Leap When we fully accept the idea that we will die at some point, we allow huge leaps to happen in our journey of creation. We can go beyond the normal slow progress and reach new heights of life by taking quantum jumps. Let's say you want to bring $10,000 into your life. You don't have to slowly make more money. You can quantum leap to a world where you already have $10,000. First, picture what it would be like to have $10,000 in your bank account right now. Feel a lot of different feelings, like happiness, relief, excitement, and thanks. Have faith that it is real. Let's say you already have the money. Choose what to do, talk about it, and move forward with the projects you want to fund. You will reach a higher level where having $10,000 will be easy if you keep staying in this state. When you change your state, you automatically attract the things you need to make your dreams come true fast. There are chances to do things and important events happen. All of a sudden, you are told to put your money into something profitable or find a client who will pay you a lot. Things are going to go well for you. Because of your energetic quantum leap, things that used to take a long time can now be done quickly. Embrace your ideal state fully and commit to getting there. The direction of energy is set by focus. Having a straightforward attitude can help you use the power of the world to get what you want faster. It is possible to master the art of fast creation by taking a quantum leap. There are many levels of life in our world 
and each level has its own size. The third dimension is the real world, which we can experience with all five of our senses. Energy, thought, and the world of quantum potential are all part of the fourth dimension. To make our dreams come true, we need to raise our awareness above the three-dimensional world and connect with the higher planes of life. The things we want already live in our imaginations. We believe it to be real. If you want to create $10,000 in the third dimension, you have to get in touch with the state of already having it. You don't actually have it yet, though. Within the world of fantasy, you can imagine and feel what it would be like to have $10,000 right now. When you stay in this higher forward state, you connect yourself with making your wish come true right now. It's easy for the three-dimensional world to change to match your forward frequency. You bring in the people, tools, and chances you need to make your $10,000 come true. Accepting the power of your imagined world can speed up the changes happening in your real world. Stay dedicated to making your desired future reality come true. Know that what you do in that realm does have real effects on the physical world. Find out how to create things consciously and master the forward movement. Focusing on the power of our imaginations and letting go of the limits of the real world can help us get what we want quickly. The three-dimensional world displays certain limits, a lack of clarity, and a need for more reasonable development. But in the fourth dimension, which is pure potentiality, we can see that our wants have already been met. As we move into this higher forward state, our three-dimensional world changes quickly. For example, if your three-dimensional world tells you that you don't have enough money, don't pay attention to it. Use your creative imagination to picture a world where you have a lot of money without even trying. Don't worry about the present. Instead, base your choices on your financial freedom. To make sure your creation works, you need to keep your attention on the final truth in the fourth dimension. Avoid getting stuck in the three-dimensional world and feeling like you don't have enough all the time. No matter what your feelings tell you, keep living in a state of satisfaction. Before long, the three-dimensional world will match with the new state you've envisioned. In a complicated way, quantum forward is more important than three. To learn how to create, keep your forward world balanced and immerse your awareness in the energy of what you want to happen. Accept it, be a part of it, and become it. This is a real product that comes from the world of endless potential. Third lesson be thankful and believe. Growing a sincere respect for what you have can make it much easier to make your dreams come true. Being thankful can make you feel better and bring more good things into your life. Imagine that you want to start a new career path. Your attention should be on how thankful you are that the perfect chance is coming up right now. Say thank you to the world for making this wish come true. On an energy level, Showing thanks lets you know that you already have what you want. You'll feel good feelings like happiness and contentment, which means that your manifestation is getting closer. Take a moment to think about and be grateful for all the good things in your life, even the ones that don't seem important at first. Pay attention to how much you value your present job, your health, and the loved people in your life. This helps you keep a happy attitude so that you can bring more good things into your life. When things get hard, it's important to remember to be thankful. Realize that the world is always on your side and directing events to help you. Enjoy every step of the process. Enjoying something changes resistance into acceptance. Make being thankful a part of your daily life. Say thank you for your wants as if they are already real. This powerful energy helps you connect with your wants and makes it easy for them to come true. Trusting in the unknown force that made the world is part of faith. It is possible for strong cosmic forces to bring your desired reality into the real world when you choose it in your mind. This law has to do with spiritual things. When you're feeling unsure, scared or impatient, your faith can help you. 
Trust that what you want will come to you. Feel the support of the universe's love that doesn't depend on anything else. Manifestations can happen in strange ways, but don't worry. As long as you keep picturing that scene, the world is working behind the scenes to make it happen. Faith gives you the strength to think about things in terms of acceptance instead of resistance. It helps you keep up your energy and keep your mind on getting what you want, even when things go wrong or take longer than planned. Your faith hasn't changed. Maintaining a strong belief in what you want makes you excited about achieving your goals until they come true. You can be sure that what you want will happen because of spiritual law. You can rest assured that this is for sure. Without a doubt, your unshakable faith will make sure that your creation works. God can do anything. Anna looked around her small room and felt the familiar sense of not having enough. She had had money problems her whole life and barely made ends meet, even though she tried her best to stay positive. There were days when everything looked so bad. She whispered, there must be more than this. When Anna closed her eyes, she chose what to do. She was sick of always being short on things. She chose to believe without question that the universe is full of plenty. When Anna was worried about money, she would change her thoughts to being thankful. There was food in her fridge, clothes on her back, and a roof over her head, and she was thankful for those things. She went from feeling like she didn't have enough to having a deep respect for what she did have. Anna often daydreamed about a life full of lots of opportunities and plenty. She imagined a future in which she lived in a beautiful house and felt financially secure thanks to a job she loved. She had a feeling that this full life was already energetically real, even though it wasn't her present situation. Anna's way of thinking changed when she started to believe in God and be thankful. She got new ideas and chose to follow her interest by starting an online business. Her pay slowly began to go up over time. Once again, after three years, Anna smiled as she looked around her beautiful new home. She had done it by having unshakable faith, no matter what the outside circumstances were. Even when fear or doubt came in, being thankful helped her stay in a state of plenty. Anna finally understood that the universe had been there for her the whole time. It made her realize how choosing faith and thankfulness over fear and limits had changed her life for the better. She was thankful for the trip. Lesson 4. Affirm your goals. Affirmations have a big effect on your subconscious mind and help you bring about the life you want. You match your energy with the process of creation when you say your wishes out loud as if they are already true. First, figure out what your real goal is, whether it has to do with your health, your relationships, your money, or something else. Make sure your statements are uplifting and are spoken in the present tense. Phrases like, I am abundantly providing for my family, or I am living a meaningful and purpose-driven life are examples. Instead of focusing on getting something, confirm that you are already doing or having it. Your mind can't tell the difference between what you're imagining and what is real. When you say your affirmations, make sure you say them with confidence and real emotion. Feel the same joy, thanks and excitement when you talk about your feelings as you would if your wishes came true. These make an impact that lasts. You could also write your statements on notes and put them in places where people will see them. Visualizing these ideas over and over again helps them stick in your mind. Affirming your wants should be a part of your daily life. When you believe your statements with all your heart, your energy becomes strongly connected with making your dreams come true. The word I am can be used in a huge number of creative ways. When we say a statement along with I am, we connect with the power of our higher self. This speeds up the process of making things happen. Instead of saying that you want more money, you could say things like I am abundant or I am financially free. The I am words show that the reality you want 
is already real. The I Am is the voice of your God Self, your better self. It helps you connect your human self with your higher self, which is infinite. Saying I am helps you show your best self more fully. Saying I am proves your link to pure awareness, which is the formless force that makes everything possible. There are a lot of options out there when you use it. When you say I am, the quantum field ripples, which makes things happen. It helps you focus your energy, feelings and thoughts in a clear way. I am is a statement of your power and control. You can change reality to fit your needs. Take it in with confidence and respect to show that you are a maker with natural power. Say these statements out loud or think about them quietly. I deserve love, happiness and plenty. I'm strong and sure of myself. Each and every day I keep improving my skills and abilities. My gut tells me what to do. I'm thankful for all the good things in my life. I'm chasing my dreams with all my heart and drive. I'm changing problems into chances to learn and grow. I'm ready to look into and take advantage of new chances. I'm making a change for the better. I'm determined to find answers. Inside myself, I feel calm and stable. I feel lucky to be with kind people who are always there for me. I am accepting my full ability and not putting any limits on it. I'm capable of great things. I have a strong sense that God is watching over me and keeping me safe. Everything is better for me now. I feel whole and healed. There is a strong link between me and my higher self. Make sure you really feel the good feelings that the words are conveying. Daily self-care with the love and knowledge that are inside you should become a habit. Lesson 5. Don't hold on to things. Let go of the specifics of how, when or where our wishes will come true. This can be hard, but it's important if we want to make them come true. Attachment comes from wanting to be in charge of the process. But having a thought that is limited to the ego can get in the way of manifestation, which depends on connecting with the universe's huge wisdom. Believe that the universe's timing and events are perfect, even if they don't go the way you thought they would. Please know that by using the law of attraction, you have started big changes. Hold on to what you believe and picture the result you want without getting too caught up in the details. Always keep in mind that the world knows more and can plan things better than your conscious mind. Detach yourself from the need to be in charge of every little thing. This way, you make room for energy to flow freely and open yourself up to options that are bigger than your ego's ideas. Accept the results with love and a sense of separation. You've drawn them to you. Let the universe bring it to you at just the right time. We've all done things wrong. You might still feel bad when you think about a mistake you made or something you said out of anger that you wish you could take back. Being sorry and ashamed can make you feel like you're stuck in mud. You feel stuck because the past keeps playing over and over in your mind. But picture being able to get rid of the hurt, guilt and negative thoughts about yourself. Think about being able to look yourself in the eyes, open your heart and say, I forgive you. One of the best things you can do for yourself is forgive yourself. Understanding this idea is important for getting rid of pain, growing as a person, and moving forward with peace and purpose. It takes a lot of courage, kindness, and wisdom to forgive yourself. It can really drain your energy, passion, and self-esteem to feel like you're responsible for everything. It keeps spreading the false idea that you are flawed or don't deserve it. By stopping to blame and feel guilty about yourself, you take back control of your life. When you reject or judge parts of yourself, it can break you up inside. The only way to heal is to love and accept every part of yourself. It is possible to really value your own strength, toughness and growth. 
Staying stuck in the past keeps you from moving on. When you forgive yourself, you can put the past behind you and look forward to the bright future ahead. You no longer have to carry the weight of the past. Forgiving yourself takes strength and kindness, and while it might take some work, the happiness it brings is well worth it. Approach with kindness, wait, and don't give up. Find out how forgiving yourself can change your life and help your heart heal. You're ready to start over. There are both good and bad things that can happen in life. The past can sometimes be full of pain, sadness and missed chances. It's easy to think about what could have been, the job you didn't get, the person you let go, the mistakes you made that can't be fixed. At some point, though, you have to choose whether to stay stuck in the past or bravely take advantage of new chances to make your future amazing. You should let go of the past and put all of your attention and creativity into the present. You can't change the past, no matter how hard you try to understand it. But you are the only one who can decide what will happen in the future. Getting rid of old hurts and beliefs that don't help you anymore makes room for new dreams and ideas to grow. Too much thought about the past will keep you from going forward, like a car stuck in mud. However, once you fully commit to getting where you want to go, progress starts to take off. Your acts have real effects and move things forward. Figuring things out and growing are normal parts of being human. You are not the same person you were when those things happened. Take note of the work you've made. Let the things you've learned from the past drive you instead of hold you back in the future. There are things that everyone wishes they could have changed in the past. The present, on the other hand, is like a valuable gift and the future is still unknown. Use your creativity to make a future that celebrates your growth as a person and makes you happy. Plan ahead and start writing the next part of your life story. Mike really wanted to get promoted at work because he thought that becoming department manager was the best way to be happy with his job. Sheila, one of his co-workers, was also being thought about. Mike was always focused on showing off his skills and trying to control how other people saw him. The CEO called Mike into her office one day. She made it clear that they had chosen a different path. Mike was very upset when Sheila got the part. The only way for him to be happy had been blocked all of a sudden. That night, Mike chose to let go of his connection to a certain result. It became clear the next morning. His mind changed and he realized there were other ways to be happy. He told Sheila how proud he was of her without any jealousy in his mind. Over the next few months, Mike worked hard to enjoy his current job and get better at it. He volunteered for a charity on the weekends and felt like he had a deep sense of meaning. Not long after, he was given the chance to lead a new project. Mike quickly became known as a leader who could get his team to work hard. After a year, he was given an amazing chance to work and explore all over the world. Mike's personal growth was much greater in this job than it would have been if he had been promoted. Mike was able to explore new possibilities that were more in line with his interests after he let go of his grip. He learned that when one chance ends, he needs to let go so that he can be open to even better opportunities that life has in store. Lesson 8. Act on your inspiration. In our culture, being busy and putting in your best effort are very important. Even though drive and effort are important, it's important to remember that doing more doesn't always lead to the results you want. Taking inspired action is a better way to go about things. To take inspired action, you have to make sure that your steps are in line with your greatest instincts and your only reason. You put important jobs ahead of being busy. Adrenal tiredness and exhaustion can happen when you push yourself too hard to reach your goals. Taking action because you're inspired feels natural and energizing so you can work quickly and well without getting tired. Taking action based on your intuition lines up with the universe's perfect time. Opportunities arise, pieces come together, unexpected meetings occur. 
It floats on the currents of grace and flow with ease, connecting with forces beyond the ego. Checking things off of a list of things to do only gives short-term pleasure at most. But doing things that move, you can really feed your soul. By accepting the power of simplicity, it helps you find your real purpose and reach your full potential. The idea behind inspired action is that sometimes the best results come from keeping things simple. Positive results happen when the right steps are taken at the right time. Believe in your gut feelings and let inspiration guide your work instead of sweat. Take action based on your inspiration and watch your purpose unfold with grace and ease. We all have hopes for the kind of life we want, being financially independent, having a fulfilling job, having loving relationships, and being in good health. But having dreams won't get you very far. Actions that make you feel like you already have your dream life are important if you want to make it happen. Setting your preferred world as your mental frame of reference for the day helps you stay focused on what's important and gives you energy. Your choices, feelings and thoughts stay in line with your expression. When you do things that are in line with what you want, your inner mind believes that it will come to you even more. When you focus on the state you want, you train your mind to see it as real. By acting on your inspiration, you show the world that you are truly dedicated to living the life of your dreams. You are accepting the core of the character you want to have. Think about the end effect of every choice and action you make. When making choices, think about the person you are now instead of focusing on the past. Taking strong action is what turns dreams into reality. Accept where you want to be with all your heart and enjoy the process of making your dream life come true. Lesson 9. Your prayers were met. Prayer is a strong tool that can help us get what we want. It is amazing how prayer can bring about strong effects when it comes from a real place of faith and unity with the world. Let your inner mind do what it can do. When you pray with a strong faith, your wish is ingrained in your mind. Your inner mind will begin to set things up so that they happen the way you want them to. It makes it possible for energy to be moved. When prayers are said with genuine feeling and faith, they send good energy into the quantum field. This lines up and changes things so they fit with what you want to happen. It makes more backing for it. You can ask a greater power for help and use the universe's knowledge to change your own life through prayer. Many times, prayers can bring about grace, coincidence and resources that the mind alone can't understand or use. It is very important to pray with the idea that what you want has already happened. Thank them and speak with confidence, as if you already know what you want to happen. This helps you get your energy in line with the world you want to make. Prayers that come from true faith and being in tune with the world have a powerful pull. They help you get past problems, balance your energy and bring what you want into your life. Write down your hopes and dreams as prayers and trust that heaven will help them come true. It's amazing how prayer can make us feel, sometimes with a sense of wonder and other times with questions. How can you tell the difference between a good prayer and a bad one? Clarity is very important because having confusing or conflicting wants can make things difficult to understand. It's important to be clear about what you want and use healthy words when you pray. When you pray, don't just beg or wish for something. Pray with a sense of eager expectation. You should know that events are being planned for you by a higher power. Find wants that are in line with your true mission. Prayers that make you feel better and help other people are very important. Don't hold on to the prayer when you say it. Instead, let it go with trust. Let the process happen on its own without your help. Before you pray, take a moment to thank the world for answering your call. Being thankful brings what you want into your life. Don't stop praying until you know that your prayers have been heard. 
Throw out any proof that goes against your gut feeling and keep trusting it. Prayer helps you get your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors in sync so that what you want happens. Manifestations that seem miraculous happen when they come from pure intention and unwavering trust. Pray clearly and with all your heart. As you get ready to receive, your prayers will come true. Lesson 10. Use meditation to make things happen. It's important to have a clear mind, a high energy and focused thought in order to get what we want quickly and easily. Meditation is one of the best ways to improve these three important things. Regular meditation helps get rid of thoughts that aren't helpful and get in the way of our growth. Our limiting beliefs fade away when we find quiet and stay present. Instead, we connect with our higher, limitless selves that are not limited by our fears. Meditation helps us disconnect from the complicated world around us and connect with higher levels where creation happens naturally. When we meditate on our wants, we can bring their energy into balance with our expanded state. This lets us access an endless amount of possibilities. To get things done quickly, we need to make sure that our thoughts and deeds are strongly linked. Creating a good mental place for imagining and improving our ability to visualize is one of the best things about meditation. When we meditate, we can fully imagine situations in which our hopes and dreams have already come true. Making this experience more real makes it have a stronger effect on the way we believe in the future. When we meditate, we can plant seeds in the rich soil of our mind where they can grow into real things. By getting rid of obstacles, connecting with higher levels and improving creative vision, Meditation makes it easier to create things quickly. It shows you how to use your imagination and intuition to get real results. When you practice regularly, your mind becomes clear, free of any blocks, and ready to bring about the results you want. Making meditation a daily part of our lives is a good thing to do for our health. It can help lower stress, sharpen attention, and speed up creation. You can meditate in many different ways, but breath meditation, mindfulness meditation, and loving-kindness meditation are three that are easy for newbies to start with. The breath is used as a focus in breath meditation to help people become more aware of the present moment. We can stay present and avoid being distracted by thoughts that aren't connected to the present moment if we constantly focus on each breath. Being aware of our breathing not only makes us feel calm, but it also helps us connect with our instincts and find peace within ourselves. Mindfulness meditation helps us become more aware of all the thoughts and feelings that come up without getting connected to any of them. We can fully enjoy the present moment as it is by just noticing what's going on around us without judging it or reacting to it. When we do compassion meditation, our heart centers get activated. This lets us send kindness to ourselves, our loved ones, neutral people, tough people, and eventually all beings everywhere. This practice breaks down the walls that separate us and helps us understand how others feel. Every type of meditation is good for you in its own way. Being more present, letting go of inner reluctance, and drawing in wants that are in line with our best purpose can all be achieved through breath, awareness, and loving-kindness meditation. Lisa really wanted to start her own baking business, but couldn't decide what to do. Even though she made vision boards and said mantras, it was hard for her to really think that her dream could come true. Lisa chose to meditate every day after a friend told her to do so, Initially, it was hard for her to calm her racing thoughts, but she kept trying and slowly turned her attention back to her breathing. Lisa found that over time, it got easier and easier to be cool and comfortable. As she thought about baking in her business kitchen, the scenes got clearer and more real. Lisa was filled with great joy and satisfaction as she thanked God for making her wish come true. She thought of herself greeted excited customers with confidence on the first day of business. 
After three months, Lisa had a breakthrough as she walked to her car after meditating. She thought of a new way to use her grandmother's old pie recipes. Through the peaceful practice of meditation, she understood that this was the right fit for her. The next steps that she should take became clear, and answers came easily from her creative source. As Lisa shut out her questioning thoughts, Lisa's Grandma's Pies Café became a famous place very quickly. Within a year of starting, there were long lines outside. Hearing her vision every day while she meditated made her dream come true. She became clear on her goals and turned her dreams into real things by spending time in quiet reflection. Lesson 11. Expect the best and hold out for the best. Having the thought that our wishes are already met is an important part of quickly and effectively making them come true. We change our thinking from one of lack to one of wealth by believing that our goals are already happening instead of worrying about what will happen. This can help the law of attraction bring about the results we want when we think positively about them. This point of view is not based on ego or wishful thinking, but on a strong belief that we are connected to universal wisdom. In the end, having a cheerful outlook is in line with our natural goodness. Our experiences are shaped by our awareness as timeless beings. The world we see is just a dream. Our true core is bigger than any boundary. It's easy to assume the best when we remember this fact and link with our real selves. We know that our mind is naturally creative and that our spirit is naturally holy. There are no problems in the way of the universe's work in our favor. One important part of expecting the best is acting from a place of inner satisfaction. When we make choices with the end result in mind, it helps us stay on track and open to achieving it. When we do things that help us reach our goals, it shows that we believe in the creative process natural flow. The world around us is shaped by how we see our own inner reality. When you assume the best, you let go of the need to control the results and embrace a sense of ease. We believe in the power of God's presence and agree with the idea of giving in to grace. Our goal is to hold on to our belief and eagerly look forward to good things happening. When we have the attitude of best hopes, the world happily reflects back to us the reality we want. We thought the world was beautiful when we were kids. We can receive amazing gifts because of this simple idea. Keep in mind that there are strong forces at work behind the scenes. There are facts that are much bigger than the ego can understand. The universe is full of surprises that are fun. When your thinking is strong, it gives the general mind more power to use. Take in the wonder and beauty that's all around you. Feel the happiness of living in your ideal state right now. Make choices with an open mind and lots of options. If you set big goals, the world will help you reach them. You are the tool that endless wisdom and love use to come into the world. Lesson 12. What you want comes from God. No matter what our ego wants at the moment, our Holy Spirit knows our greater mission and the events that will help our soul grow. We can find goals that are in line with our spiritual path by calming the ego and getting in touch with our inner selves. Our higher self, which is linked to God or universal consciousness, gives us these wants. The wants that come from our higher selves can become real in our lives because our inner and outer worlds are linked. The divine power that imagines and plans the creation of the world also makes its dreams come true through us. We want to show ourselves happily because we have a natural need to make things. When we believe that our wants come from a greater power, we are free from the chains of fear and self-doubt. That part of us that wants to help us reach our full potential wants to give us gifts. When we see desire as holy, we are connected to the universe's amazing power to do wonders. Being aware that we bring spiritual gifts into the world makes us more open to a greater sense of wealth. Another amazing thing about this spiritual co-creative process is that it runs through all of us. 
Getting what we want from God means putting knowledge and care into our daily thoughts, words, and actions. This helps us live with purpose, love with all our hearts, and learn kindness. We can get what we really want if we follow the spiritual way. It's easy to get stuck in an attitude of asking the world to give us what we want when we're trying to make our dreams come true. But asking comes from a feeling of not having enough and not being able to do anything about it. Instead, we can fully accept our power as co-creators of the world. We have so much power that we can change reality to fit our plans. When we command, we use the power of our ideas, words, and emotions. There is a strong ability within us to make our dreams come true. All we have to do is think positively and make statements in the present tense. We can connect with our higher divine self, which is linked to the same source energy as the world, when we order. By taking charge, we show with confidence that we are connected to the strong force that makes everything real. How we connect to our true, unlimited selves is what makes the difference between asking and ordering. When you command, you expect the world to back you, but when you beg, you expect there to be limits and shortages. Instead of just wishfully thinking about what you want, go after it with a deep sense of certainty. Allow your words to come from a deep, calm place inside you. Communicate with the world as a single unit that is linked by love and a common goal. You can get what your soul needs to grow from this place. Lesson 13. Manifestation starts with how you feel inside. When we're trying to quickly get what we want, we often put more emphasis on acts outside of ourselves than on being in line with ourselves. Still, the outside world is just a reflection of what we know inside. Living as if our wants and needs have already been met is important for making changes that last and are in line with our goals. Your thoughts, beliefs, assumptions, emotions, energy, and sense of who you are are all parts of your inner state. The things you draw into your life are affected by your point of attraction and the quantum field of options. When you change your thoughts to match what you want to happen, you send out a signal that brings what you want into your life. It is possible to change your state of mind by using certain methods. If you want your vision boards and goal plans to really help, they need to come from deeply inside you. If you want the world to bring your dreams to life, you need to have an attitude of satisfaction. When you fully immerse yourself in the state you want to be in, the outside factors match more quickly. What the universe brings into your life depends on how you feel inside. It's important to keep your feelings and focus on what you want to happen so that it happens faster. Understanding the inner game makes you better at what you do. Believe in the power of positive thinking, good conversation, emotional connection, a lively mind, and taking action to reach your goals. What's on the outside shows up inside. We can train our brains to think differently if we put in some work and talk positively to ourselves. Instead of putting ourselves down, we can focus on pointing out our natural worth, skills, and potential. We can boost our confidence and take steps toward our dreams by changing the way we think and writing to make ourselves feel better. It helps to ease the mental weight we carry from the past when we talk to ourselves with understanding and kindness. We should believe in ourselves, even if other people don't see our ability yet. When we are kind to ourselves, open to new experiences, bravely take on challenges, grateful for what we have, and committed to personal growth, our lives change in big ways. The way we talk to ourselves changes as we grow. When we think about ourselves as enabled, we are more likely to make choices that are empowered. When we listen to tunes instead of sharp chatter, they can change our inner world and make harmonies grow and show up in a more beautiful way. Lesson 14. Having goals inside you. Everything in the world we can see comes from the awareness that we can't see. 
There are both internal and outward parts of who we are. To make something outside of yourself, you must first create thoughts, feelings, and events inside of yourself. This concept applies to all desires, whether it's a new career, home, relationship, or state of being. Visualize and experience the sensation of already possessing your desire and watch as your external world aligns with this internal truth. Imagination provides a glimpse into the future. The more you enhance and fully engage in this inner experience, the faster your manifestation will occur. Your inner world is made up of your beliefs, assumptions, attitudes, thoughts, and feelings. Your personal reality serves as the blueprint that shapes your outer experience. When you intentionally shape your inner world, you give clear guidance for the universal mind to follow. Fully embrace the experience of your desire and let your imagination make your inner movie so vivid that your subconscious perceives it as reality. When you are able to generate the internal feelings, energy and beliefs of a fulfilled wish, the universe will eagerly begin to manifest it externally. You possess an incredible ability to create as a conscious individual. Once you have a good grasp on it, you'll have full control over manifestation. Throughout life, we often rely on the default settings ingrained in us during our upbringing. We often embrace limiting beliefs, absorb cultural programming, and let outside voices overpower our inner wisdom. We often find ourselves caught up in society's expectations, surrendering our power to external influences that may not prioritize our well-being. Yet, we can awaken and recognize that we are not subject to fate. We have the power to shape our own destinies. By embracing the power of envisioning our desires already achieved, we reclaim control over our lives. We can tap into our ability to bring things into reality by using our imagination, having faith, and taking motivated steps. We focus our energies on pursuing dreams that ignite our passion and align with our true purpose. Living in the state of wish, fulfilled bypasses overthinking and scarcity mindset. We can feel the emotions of already having what we desire at this moment. The energy we emit has the power to attract circumstances that align with our vision. As long as we have faith in the process, we no longer drift downstream, but instead take control of navigating life's river. We navigate with care towards fulfillment, despite the persistent currents and the presence of obstacles. We are aware that they ultimately make us stronger. The decisions we make and the viewpoints we adopt shape the script of our lives as we go. We all carry within us the potential for transformation, patiently awaiting its time to emerge. Are we prepared to embrace our power, let go of victimhood, and live as the creators we were meant to be? Final lesson. Live in the end. As we come to the conclusion of this transformative journey, you now have the ability to quickly bring your heart's desires into reality by focusing on the end result. By implementing these effective practices, you can achieve a greater sense of fulfillment and contribute to positive change in our world. This book provides a solid foundation. Now comes the exciting part. As you apply these principles in practice, understand that you possess all the necessary tools within yourself. Just let your wisdom lead your imagination, beliefs, and actions. Even though you may encounter challenges, you have the ability to overcome them by tapping into the fulfillment of your desires. Embrace positivity and gratitude as your guiding principles and let inspired action propel you forward. Your purpose will become clear and unfold in a magnificent way. You have complete control over your own experience. The future holds great promise for your vision. May you experience an abundance of blessings that surpass your wildest expectations. Always keep in mind that you should firmly believe that your desire is already within your reach.